Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, DP Space Gamer and Graphics. I hope you're all doing well, and today's video will show you how to make an eye-catching colored architectural layout plan, so let's get started. Let's begin with Revit after you've designed and drawn your layout. Hide the undesirable information first, such as dimensions, grid, section, elevation, and so on. After that, change the graphics display option. Turn on smooth lines, cast shadows, and ambient shadows. After that, adjust the lighting and you're good to go. As you can see, the plan is quite attractive. Let's save this plan as a picture. Make certain that the image is exported in high resolution. I prefer 100% zoom, JPEG format with lossless view, and image quality of 300. Rapidly navigate to the Save Location folder and open the image file in Photoshop. Also, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments if you have any questions about anything in this video. OK, Stars Editing. I'm eliminating the background that I don't want and place the image in the center. Let's organize all of the layers so we can track SE later if we wish. Let's begin with the shaft openings. First, select the shafts and copy-paste them to make a separate layer for them. Rename that layer once again for better organization. Now we need to add depth and shadow to make it look like a shaft. Go into the layer style by double-clicking on the specific layer, and then select inner glow and inner shadow. Adjust the opacity, distance, and size to your liking. Then, convert that layer multiply such that our original information from the master plan is visible. Let's go to the lobby immediately. As we did with the shaft, select the lobby area and the area where you want to apply the same texture, and then select that entire area very well. After that, copy and duplicate the selected area. Simply use Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus B to paste. It will be pasted in the ECAC spot with a new layer. Rename layer then after select object and fill the color with white. The layer should be multiplied so that background information displays. Now let's add some depth and shadow to make it look more realistic. We now require a tile pattern or any other pattern you choose to use on the floor. Let's make a tile pattern. Open the tile pattern and pick define pattern from the edit menu. Name the pattern and you're done. From the window menu, open the pattern window and choose the pattern we just made. You can change the scale and angle to your preference. EC. After all adjustments, I'm combining the pattern fill layer with the original layer. Let us now apply the same strategy to the other areas. I'll begin with the living room. You can relax on the couch and enjoy the music and procedure. 